हेलो कॉम्पिटेटिव आउटलुक फैमिली आई होप यू आल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल आई एम बेक विद द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज ऑन करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ फरवरी ट्वेंटी दिस इज डे सेवन सो लेट एस प्रोसीड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन इज वट इज द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द सपोर्ट टू स्टूडेंट्स फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन कॉम्पिटिशन अब्रॉड स्कीम इंट्रोड्यूसड बाई ए आई सी टी ई ऑप्शन चार ए इनकोराइजिंग डोमेस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन बी इनहेंसिंग ग्लोबल कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस ऑफ इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स इन टेक्निकल एजुकेशन सी प्रोवाइडिंग फाइनेंशियल एड फॉर लोकल इवेंट्स डी प्रोमोटिंग कल्चरल एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम्स करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज इनहेंसिंग ग्लोबल कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस ऑफ इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स इन टेक्निकल एजुकेशन द ऑल इंडिया काउंसिल फॉर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन हैज लॉन्च द सपोर्ट to students for participating in competitions abroad initiative to enhance the global competitiveness of indian technical students the program offers financial aid mentorship and logistic support providing travel grants of up to rupees 2 lakh per student for international scientific competitions question number 62 is farooq nazki who passed away recently was associated with which profession ऑप्शन आर ए पोइट बी रेसलर सी साइंटिस्ट डी पोलिटिशियन करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज पोइट फारूक नाजगी एंड एस्टिमेट पोइट एंड साहित्य एकेडमी अवार्ड रिसिपेंट पास अवे एट एटी थ्री रिनोड फॉर हिज रिनोड फॉर हिज इम्पैक्टफुल कंट्रीब्यूशन टू पोइट्री एंड कल्चरल प्रिजर्वेशन नाजगीज वर्क ट्रांसेंटेड डाइवर्स बैकग्राउंड Shuka casing the profound influence of words. Question number sixty-three is recently three ninety-year-old Deepastambham was found on the edge of which river? Options are A. Krishna River, B. Kaveri River, C. Godavari River, D. Pranhita River. Correct answer is option A. That is Krishna River. A three ninety-year-old Deepastambham. lamp post was discovered on the river krishna's edge in nalgunda district telangana standing at 20 feet the pillar with lamp hollows and a multilingual inscription dates back to june 1635 dedicated to kasi vishwananda question number 64 is where was the seventh indian ocean conference held options are a new zealand b russia c france d australia correct answer is option d that is australia the seventh indian ocean conference hosted in perth australia is a pre consultative forum for indian ocean regions nations organized by the ministry of external affairs and the india foundation the theme is towards a stable and sustainable indian ocean question number 65 is who has been appointed as the new prime minister of kazakhstan options are a olzhas bektinov D Roman Skyler C Aslan Musin D Arkin Aritano Correct answer is option A that is Olzhas Biktinov Kazakhstan's president Kasim Jomat Tokayev appoints Olzhas Biktinov his chief of staff as the new prime minister swift approval by the eminent party dominated parliament highlights the president's strong held on power strong hold and power recently which initiative has been launched by the quality council of india and open network for digital commerce to empower msmes options are a credit guarantee scheme b dg ready certification portal c entrepreneurship skill development program d digital empowerment scheme correct answer is option b that is dg ready certification portal the quality council of india and open network for digital commerce launched the dg ready certification portal on february 8 2024 the portal is an online self assessment tool that helps small and medium enterprises determine how well equipped they are to join the ondc platform as vendors Question number sixty-seven: Zircon missile, a supersonic ballistic missile, recently launched by which country? Options are A. Russia, B. Israel, C. Ukraine, D. China. Correct answer is option A. That is Russia. 
Russian forces recently launched a 3M22 Zircon missile targeting Q. The 3M22 Zircon is a scramjet powered hypersonic cruise missile developed in Russia, boosting speeds up to Mach 9 and a 1000 km range. It features a two stage design with solid fuel in the first stage and scramjet motor in the second stage. Question number 68 is How much budgetary support has the government constituted for fisheries infrastructure development fund? Options are Rupees 830.57 crores. Option B. Rupees 935.55 crores. C. Rupees 939.48 crores. D. Rupees 955.68 crores. Correct answer is option C. That is Rupees 939.48 crores. The Union Cabinet, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, approved a three year extension of the Fisheries Infrastructure Development Fund until 2025-26. The extension maintains the approval fund size of Rs. 7,522.48 crore with a budgetary support of Rs. 939.48 crores. Fisheries Infrastructure Development Fund initiated in 2018-19 has so far approved 121 projects creating fishery infrastructure and generating over 2.5 lakh employment opportunities. Question number 69. Sarkar Gaon Ke Dwar initiative recently seen in the news is launched by which state? Options are A. Uttarakhand, B. Madhya Pradesh, C. Uttar Pradesh, D. Himachal Pradesh. Correct answer is option D. That is Himachal Pradesh. Chief Minister Sukhinder Singh Sukhu led the Sarkar Gaon Ke Dwar initiative at Amb Pathiyar Jawalam Mukhi Assembly constituency. Engaging with locals, he addressed concerns and made transformative announcements, including the establishment of a block development officer office in Surani, a Jal Shakti division, Jal Shakti department division in Jawalam Mukhi, and a subdivision in Majheen, aiming to propel the region's development. Question number 70 is. What is the name of the new scheme approved by the Union Cabinet to improve the fisheries sector? Options are A. Pradhan Mantri Matsya Kisan Samridhi Sahayojana B. Sagar Parikrama Scheme C. Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana D. Pak Bay Scheme Correct answer is option A. That is Pradhan Mantri Matsya Kisan Samridhi Sahayojana the Union Cabinet recently approved the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Kisan Samridhi Sah Yojana, a sub scheme under the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana, with a budget of Rs. 6,000 crore. The four year initiative aims to formalize the fisheries sector, providing institutional credit to fisheries, sorry, providing institutional credit to fishers, aquaculture farmers, and vendors. With these, the important MCQs of D7. On current affairs of February 2024 comes to an end. I hope you like these and find these useful. Do like, subscribe and share the channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that every update of this channel reaches to you at the earliest. Thank you. Have a nice day.